Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, the Python Gurukul. Today we'll be talking about Python multiprocessing. I'll try to uncover that how you can utilize your computer better way with the help of Python. Today we'll be talking about multiprocessing, differentiate between multi-threading and multiprocessing. And then we'll see how these things are simplified in Python. And at the end, we will take a look at one of the nice example. So let's start understanding multiprocessing, why it is required. So nowadays we have lots of data or lots of graphics we try to deal with. So anywhere, if we need more tasks to do, we need more processor. And that's where CPU manufacturer have been keep adding processes. But until and unless we understand it and we don't implement it, how we'll use them. So today, we'll try to see that how we'll be able to utilize our computer processes better way. Take a look at this particular example. In this particular computer, we have four core CPU. Means we will be able to use four processes simultaneously. So all the way, all the we need to do is we need to just look one core, lock it, start another interpreter look for core lock it and as they use gil global interlock we don't have to worry about any of conflict with the multiprocessing we will be using the resources better way so before going further let's little bit talk about how multiprocessing and multi-threading is different but multi-threading we just say that multi-threading is not running the program in the parallel we were just doing that we were splitting the processes in small unit and whenever we were waiting for any input output so we were switching to the next thread so we were trying to use one processor better way but multi-processing is completely different game in the multiprocessing the in python interpreter can have its own cpu and it can lock and it, it can continue to use so as many processor we have we will be able to run, run that many python interpreter so uh, if you have missed my python multi-threading uh, recording just look for it explore it i've talked in detail about the multi-threading. For multi-processing in Python, only we need to know a few things. We can use the multi-processing. This module is already available, so we don't have to install anything separately. So start with importing the multi-processing. And once we import the multi-processing, just use the process method. So in the multi-processing, with the help of process, we are just saying that pass all your target and give the input if the if the target if the task needed any input once we have the process in our hand start the process and join the process so join is just saying that wait until the process completed and this is how we have seen in the python multi threading so if you know threading it will be easy to understand processing as well Let's take a look at one very simple and very high level example of multiprocessing. So we are creating two different tasks. One is cube, one is square. And we are keep calling the task. To call the task, we are creating the process, providing the function name in the target, created two processes, we are starting the processes, and we are waiting until it completes. So now let's look at this live example and we can see that again we are just importing the multiprocessing and we got the time module. We got the two tasks. In one task we are just running. So we are just sleeping and we got another task to simulate it is taking some time. Again we are sleeping over there. But we are running the for loop just to trade uh, multiple times so that it will take more time. So we need to make sure to use the main function. If we don't use, it will throw the error because it will be used by interpreter log. So 
uh, again as we had two processes two tasks we got the two processes we are starting we are joining and down here we are just looking for the time so let's go ahead get the command prompt and already i ran in sequential order it took 21 seconds now i have commented that section out and this time we will be running run with the multiprocessing and let's see how it does so it started and it should be taking time to conclude on all of them and we can see that sequential took 21 seconds parallel took 11 seconds so yes it is efficient so with that say that's all i had for today if you like my video Please share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.